last year I used pre-pandemic. I love Google Classroom because when teachers add you as a co-teacher, and that's super important, having the teachers add you as a co-teacher helps so much because what you can do is um, join the classes and you just see immediately what they're already working on. Um, you can see what assignments are assigned to them. So it's such a nice communication tool because you don't have to email the teachers all the time asking, what are you working on? What lesson are you on? What unit are you on? You just see everything that they're working on in the classroom when you become a co-teacher. Um, so that's helpful in a lot of ways, for, especially for students that you, if you do push-in services with, um, becoming a co-teacher, step one, I love that. Um, another option is once you've already are a co-teacher, you can, if you have a close relationship with that teacher, you could offer some of just post, the teacher can post things for you and assign certain things to specific students. If you don't wanna create your own speech class, you can use teachers platform to individually assign activities to those students. Um, you can also create your own class, so be your own teacher. And then what I did was for each one of my speech groups, I had a, a class and students within that group that I worked with, it was in the same class. So I could assign an assignment out and I was working with middle scores. I don't know what grade you're working grades you're working with. But if you have a, an assignment that you want to give out, like last year I did a lot of like the EET, the expanding expressions tool. And what I would do is I would say, okay, here's a paragraph, code it with the different colors, highlight it on your computer with the different colors to identify the characters, the setting, the problem, the solution. Um, and I would just assign things like that to them, um, which was really nice. And I would, so we would start that during speech and whatever they didn't finish, they had to finish for homework. And if I had that relationship with the teacher, I would make sure that they also knew that was an assignment. And then the teachers could become co-teachers on my end too, um, with my groups. Um, I didn't necessarily have all of my speech kids in the same Google Classroom because they're all different things, but it tends to work well when you separate them into different classes. So I might call my 1030 group, okay, this is my 1030 group and assign specific 1030 types of activities that you would normally do in person. I love Google Classroom. I don't have, I'm not using it so much this year because I'm with the really itty bitties, but when I was with the older students, it was so nice because I felt like I always was in the loop. I always knew what was going on, what they were doing, what their expectations were for them. Um, so the, being a co-teacher and then also creating your own speech groups within Google Classroom are really, really helpful ways to communicate with your students, especially if they already know how to use it. Um, and you might even end up loving it just forever. Like you might end up always wanting to be co-teachers um, with some of those assignments that are getting sent out to them, especially with your, more so I found with, it was helpful for reading, writing, science, social studies. Those were my those are subjects I wouldn't do. And I wouldn't do all of them. I would just find the teacher that I collaborated the best with become co-teacher on their Google Classroom account. Um, I just found that to be really helpful. Um, I hope that's helpful for you. Bye.